Hello, sixth graders, and welcome. Today, we are going to be learning about reciprocal reading strategies. So that is our header, and as always, I love having a header um, for all my notes, so I know what my notes are about. So, as I said, our header is reciprocal reading strategies. Reciprocal reading strategies. And today, when I take my notes, I am going to be splitting my page up into four sections. So on your notebook, I would recommend doing the same thing by breaking your notebook up into four sections. So for example, I'm gonna zoom out a little bit and pretending that this is <clears throat> my notebook. Excuse me. I am going to draw a line right down the center and right down the middle. So it looks like that. So it's broken up into four sections. Next, I'm going to label each section. My top section is going to be predict. The right of that is going to be question. Below, clarify. And lastly, summarize. There are four reciprocal reading strategies that we will be going over today. Re reciprocal reading strategies are basically when the student becomes the teacher when you're working in small groups. So throughout the year, we'll be having times where we are reading a book together and you have to work in a small group, you may be assigned one of these roles. So maybe you're assigned the predictor and your job is to make predictions. Well, we'll go over exactly what that role would entail today. Maybe your job is to be the questioner where you have to question things. Next, you could be the clarifier to clarify things or your role may be to be the summarizer, to summarize things. So with reciprocal teaching strategies, there are four different roles, and it's basically you as a student becomes the teacher when you are doing that role. So let's begin with predict. We are predicting. If you are the teacher and your role is to predict or be the predictor, your job is to make predictions of what you think the text will be about. Your job as a predictor is to predict, is to predict, which means you make predictions of what you think the text will be about. So basically, you're just making predictions of what do you think what you're going to read is going to be about. So you're going to use statements like, I think, and then explain what you think. Another thing that you could say is, I bet, dot, dot, dot. And these are all sentence starters. So this is how you would phrase things. So I think this would happen, or I bet this will happen. Or the last one is, I think I will learn and blank. I think I will learn dot 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 and then you would complete that sentence with a prediction so if your job is to predict as a predictor you make predictions of what you think the text will be about 
Next reading strategy is the questioner. And I will be zooming out in case you didn't get everything there. So if you didn't get everything written down, don't worry, you'll see it in a moment. But if you are assigned the questioner job, meaning you have to ask questions, you question things. It's very simple. The definition or your job is to ask questions about the text. As you're reading, you're asking questions. So a sentence starter would be, I wonder. So you could wonder all kinds of things. Who someone is. What something is. Where, like where did that take place? Or where is that character? Or how, how did that character do that? Um, when, when did the story take place? All of these are things that you question when you're reading. And if you are assigned the questioner position or job, your job is to question things. You ask questions about the text. So, remind, as a reminder, these are all strategies that you use when you are pretending to be the teacher in a small group. Your job is either to make predictions or your job will be to question things. The next reciprocal reading strategy is to clarify. You would be assigned as the clarifier. And if you have this role, your job is to make sense or clarify, make sense of words or phrases you didn't understand. Your job is to make sense of words or phrases you didn't understand. Or in this case, it could be the group didn't understand. So the, it could be something as simple as you're reading a story and you don't understand what a word means. Well, you could stop and look up the definition. So, for example, your role would be to say something like, I didn't get blank, so I blank. Basically, what that means is in this top line here, you could say that you didn't understand a specific word. So you looked it up in a dictionary. Or maybe you didn't understand a sentence. So you need to go back and reread the sentence. So you could say something like, I didn't get this word. So I need to look it up in the def in the dictionary, excuse me. Or I didn't get this sentence. So I need to go back and reread it. Those are all things that the clarifier would say when they are doing their job. And lastly, the summarizer. If you are assigned the summarizer role, your job is to summarize. Basically, your job is to retell the text with your own words. Retell the text with your own words. What happened? You are summarizing. So there are two different like strategies that you can use. The first strategy is to just use transition words, which is like the very basic transition words. So using the words like first, this happened, and then you talk about what happened next, and then finally, this happened. So using words like that to retell a story is a summary. So if you're the summarizer, you're retelling the story. Another strategy is called somebody wanted 
somebody wanted, but then, so this sixth graders is a strategy that we will go over together later this week that we will learn about. So I'm going to put a star there because you may write that down and be like, I have no idea what that is, Ms. Friedenberg. Well, that's okay because we'll go over it this week. But the first, next, and finally, those are definitely transition words that you would have used or learned about in elementary school. So to recap here, sixth graders, I'll zoom out here. Whoa, it's all moving. Okay, stop moving. Thank you. Alrighty. So these are our four reciprocal reading strategies. We have predict. Predicting is making predictions of what you think is going to happen. So that will be someone's role in a small group. Question. The questioner asks questions about the text. Clarify. The clarifier makes sense of words or phrases you didn't understand. And finally, summarize. The summarizer retells the stories with their own words. These are different roles that we will be um, assigning throughout the year. So if you're still feeling a little like unsure of how this will work or how it will look, that's totally understandable because we haven't actually put this in action yet. All this is is the definition and then we'll start practicing them together. So make sure you take a picture of these notes and upload them to Canvas when you are done. Nice job, everyone.